Thought I'd show you how you turn up the 4440 John Deere's. This covers all the A pumps. I think that's the 44 and the 46. 30, 40, 55, 60s. And uh, if you just want your low end torque, you loosen this cap off right here on the top, take it off, loosen the jam nut, tighten the screw, couple three rounds tighten it down all the way whatever you want that's just your smoke control and uh, that'll pick up your low end response before the boost comes in and back here on the back of the injector pump right in front of the oil filter housing them four bolts right here take that plate off and that's where the fun happens so we'll take that off and I'll show you what's in there. All right, so you take them four 10 millimeter bolts out, take that cover off, you'll get a little bit of oil coming out. And try and get where you can see it here. That screw with the flat in the end of it, and that's a 10 millimeter lock nut on the back. This tractor, I've turned it up significantly already. And, uh, Probably two rounds is all you're gonna go, gonna want to go if you're working it hard. If you want to take it sled pull or something, got it in three right now. Probably gonna give it one more and see what it does. And uh, one other thing that helped this tractor a whole lot is loosen up your four mountain bolts on the injector pump and uh, swing the pump toward the outside of the engine. A little bit and advance your timing made this thing crank a whole lot better but uh, all you do is turn that screw right there I'm told a round is about 30 horse so it makes some bell of the smoke so if you go in more than two rounds so we'll show you what this does when I get it done here all right we got the fuel in four rounds now. Talking to us through the seven inch stack. This is my winter restoration project. We're gonna roll hay with this thing. And yes, I am gonna back the fuel down before we start working it hard. Just kinda wanna play with it a little bit. See what it's got in it. So we're getting it pretty close to fixed up. Good enough for me. And uh, it's definitely smoky.